it's Kmei here. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. Um, I decided to start this little vlogging journey with you all um, because I mean I guess I've always wanted to do these types of videos you know with like fashion and makeup and just like lifestyle type things but um, I, I never started because I didn't have a camera but Black Friday was just a few days ago so I got to pick up this new camera and I'm so excited for filming videos and tutorials and whatnot but um, yeah so let's get started on today's video today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my brows so stick around and Please let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Throw a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, you know what to do. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye. All right guys, hey. So, ooh, look at those naked brows. <laughs> I always feel a little naked when I don't have them filled in, but yeah. So I'm gonna go in first with MAC Cork. Um, this is an eyeshadow, <laughs> but I tend to use it for filling in my brows. Um, it's the perfect brown shade, I think, for this. And then I'll go in with the Morphe E65. It's just a small angled brush. Um, I take the brush and I swirl it into the powder. I tap, tap, tap. And then I'm gonna just fill in my brows. Literally, this step is just to f to color in those sparse areas on the brow, so that um, actually it's kind of a money saving tip because I could do this with the um, actual eyebrow pencil that I use, but I find that I if I can um, fill it in with a eyeshadow that. I save a lot more money that way. Uh, so yeah, I'll focus it on the outer corner of my brows and right there, the inner corner. And then I will also take a little extra to fill in any bald spots that I have. Um, but that's pretty much it for that step. I'm gonna go in with the same product on the other brow. So to determine where to begin your eyebrow, um, you take the brow whiz, you touch it on your nose, and then you kind of just make a little flick, a little light line, if you will, on the inner corner of your eyebrow. From the bottom portion where your hairline starts, um, you want to make little strokes um, and, not, and don't press too hard. You can always, you know, fill it in darker after, but you want to start light. And then right around here, I press a little harder because I want the line to be more defined. So I, yeah, I just go over that little spot um, a couple more times just so that the line is really clear over there. And to determine how long the brow should be, you use the brow whiz and touch the um, outside of your nose to the outer corner of your eye and wherever that line ends up that's how long your brow should be. Okay and after you do the bottom portion of the brow you're gonna want to outline the top of the brow. This is kind of like filling in the outsides and then you're gonna color within the lines after the fact. Um, I would suggest using small light strokes and I would also suggest starting off Thin. You don't want to go too thick uh, right at the outset because the more and more you draw on your brow to the desired like shape, you might end up with a really, really thick brow at the end. And you know what? That's okay. But if you don't want too thick brows, I would suggest starting off thin. And then you're going to just fill in those brows. Stay, you know, it's like kindergarten. Stay within the, the lines. Um, just fill in those sparse areas and focus on the outer edges of your brow. You don't want to go in too dark in this area. 
uh, the inner corner of your brow because it will look very unnatural. So just make light stroke marks in that area. And then the next step is to take the opposite end, which is a little spoolie, and then brush it out. And don't press too hard when you're um, brushing your brows because that will mess up all that hard work you did when you're coloring them in. Um, just use like really light strokes again um, just to blur the outside lines so there's no harsh lines. And once you get the desired look that you're looking for, you're going to want to do the same exact thing to the other side. Okay. So one of the last steps is to make sure the brows are even. I use the brow whiz and I just put it center of my nose. And the start of the brow should be even to the brow whiz. I do the same type of leveling action like a carpenter and I check if my eyebrows are level. I also check the lengths if they're the appropriate length for each brow and then that's pretty much it. I have another step and this one is to blur out those harsh lines in the center. I use a foundation brush and I just brush over the centers of the brow. And you think I'm done, but wait a minute, I have another step. My very, very last step is to add some highlighting powder underneath the brow. So I like to use Kat Von D's Shade Light Contour Palette. Um, and the shade I go in with is called Levitation. It is the highlighting powder most, most left, right there. And what I do is I get a tiny brush and I just dip it into the Levitation, like so, and then tap, tap, tap. I also blow off any excess um, powder and then I just kind of pop it in on the most upper brow bone piece under the brow. Um, I don't go too crazy with it. I don't like a lot either. Just something that gives your brow a little more dimension. And I'll do the same to the other side. Um, I think you guys can use any highlighting powder. I would suggest nothing too shimmery. Personally, I don't like shimmer on the upper brow bone. Oh, okay, here I am checking myself out. I thought I was satisfied, but if you don't feel like your brows are like exactly perfect, you can go in. I use with um, the same Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, except in dark brown this time. I noticed that there was a little bit of patchiness on the outer portions of my brow. Oh, that's another technique. <laughs> if you look down, you can really see any um, inconsistencies between the two brows. So you can use that technique to even out the brows. Um, I felt like there were, on, uh, I guess my left brow, it wasn't filled in enough. And um, don't forget to blend it out. And yeah, so that's it for my eyebrow look. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Thank you.